Okay, I found something. I found something really fun. I'm gonna show you a few ways to use just one effect to get title designs or a chrome effect or transitions. It can do lots of things. It's weird, wacky, and wonderful. So don't worry if you're not an After Effects aficionado, we're just gonna just mess around. It's just like a brain dump. We're just gonna have a play. So all we really need for this is After Effects and a PNG or some sort of vector icon. So I thought, why not use our brand new pack, Iconic. So Iconic is 356 total files. It's loaded with bonuses, a lot of pre-made designs, layouts, borders for titles, transitions, great for over footage. But let me show you how just a little icon can really spice up your next masterpiece. So I've just dragged one of the icons in and just some footage, just, you know, this. And I am going to chuck a displacement map on it. So I'm going to set it to the PNG that I've got in there. And then I'm going to change it to lightness instead of red for the horizontal and the vertical displacement. So now we can kind of move this displacement and it's kind of going to move some of the image along. So it just has this kind of almost like a chrome look, but you could use this with, well, pretty much anything. Maybe one of the dots will look pretty cool. So it just kind of has this weird kind of mirror effect. If you feel like these edges are a bit too sharp and weird, you can go into the, uh, you can go into the icon itself and put like a blur on it maybe. And then you just have to change the source to effects and mask. And uh, what's gonna happen now is you can get some really trippy effects. So now when I push that out, it's gonna kind of do this kind of look. So that could be something you're after. I don't know, it's it's abstract, it's pretty cool. Uh, here's a version with a cross and then you can kind of pull that back. You could even start with it there and then kind of push it out. It's got its use somewhere. I just think it's a cool look. Let's find one that works better. Um, the checkerboard would be cool. See, that's really doing something. And I mean, that would be cool without the blur on as well. Maybe you were doing something that was square, just for a cool look. So now you've kind of got this kind of vibe going on. I don't know, there's something cool about that. And then, you know, you could even do that as a as a main title. So say I took, uh, took this, and used it as a pre-comp. So let's reveal that. And I'm gonna just drag that into another composition. And I am going to make this composition uh, 4K. So I'm gonna go back to 3840. Squeeze that down a tiny bit. I might even kind of round off these edges a little bit. Just gonna click on that, drag that out. This isn't a very precise way of doing it. And I'm gonna press my up arrow to get those uh, edges to be a little bit more rounded. This is a very rough way of doing this. Uh, and now we've got these kind of rounded edges on this, which kind of looks cool. Um, and then, you know, I can do my title design right over the top of it if I wanted. Like, uh, you know, so they spell soul, like the city. I think so. So anyway, so then I might kind of center that up using my align tool. And uh, that's got kind of like a vibe to it already. Chuck some grain, chuck some blur on there. And that's pretty cool. Something else we can do in here. Um, if I put that back to 4K, um, just kind of mess around with some of these uh, using the blur in interesting ways. So where's that blur? Let's turn that back on. So it's kind of got different kind of looks that are quite interesting. 
Um, and the, if you want to resize the actual image itself, you need to pre-comp that. So, I mean, I'll show you what I mean if I'm really lazy and I just pre-comp that. If I then resize this and drag it out to a different size and shape. Now when I come back in here, I've kind of got this interesting kind of mirrored displacement look. And then if I make this the same aspect ratio as my composition, drag it out like that. Now when I go back in here, I've kind of got this weird kind of mirrored look that's really trippy. And I can, you know, bring the horizontal displacement amount down. You know, I could even move past it, like it kind of shifts through there. It's kind of cool. And now I'm starting to get these lines as well on the left side. So it's like a cool transitional element as well. Um, and obviously I can still up and down the blur amount. Um, so there's just some fun things to try there as you kind of, without the blur really, uh, looks like this. So it's just kind of a different look. Um, so yeah, that was something fun to play with. And uh, I just think that would be cool for like an opening title or like an Instagram post. If you had some footage, you wanted to spice it up try chucking a displacement map on it in After Effects. What if we just took some text here? 4K. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so that's an idea that you can use for lots of things. Enjoy.